I'm gonna have you look over here. Okay. Is it recording? Yep, it's recording. <laughs> no, sorry. I'm Madeline, I'm a sophomore, and I'm part of the Stria team. I'm the leader of Stria. It's a project that we're working on in order to help blind people go about their daily lives in ways that can be the best for them. So we're focusing right now on the problem of veering. Hello all, my name is Jimmy and I am working with this team. I'm blind, uh, I've been blind uh, not too long so I'm still learning. Uh, veering is very, very dangerous because we think we're going on a straight path. The next thing we know we're coming into oncoming traffic or worse. I've had veering uh, disorientation, not knowing which way I was going anymore and made a left without even realizing it and I'm walking in the between cars. I think blindness is such a large issue and the idea that a couple of high schoolers can take on such a large problem that affects so many people is really what like draws me to the project. Yeah, why don't we just do the phone and then we'll wait to see. Over the summer, we started our needs finding field trips and we knew that we wanted to work on a project in blindness. So we visited the Vista Center for the Blind just to kind of get an overall understanding of blindness and what key needs blind people have today are. Then after we had a long list of needs, we all kind of got together and picked one need that we really wanted to focus on where we didn't see a lot of advances in technology for that need in the present day and that was veering. And even though there's 14 people, it's almost like a small startup, but we're really able to share ideas and really grow in as designers as and as people in terms of creating a really quality product that is aesthetically beautiful um, for blind users. And what we did was we wanted to create a belt with toodle vibration motors on either end that would buzz on either side when he started to veer to one side. And um, so we started just really simple by creating belts out of cardboard and testing the idea of how would a belt work, does it provide some sort of sense of safety and comfort. We learned how to code using Arduino and we learned how to, if you just hit a button, how to make something buzz. And then we kind of combined the belt and the Arduino to make a belt that had two little vibration motors attached to it. And we started with just giving the belt to our user Jimmy and he would start walking and we had two little buttons that we would press when he started to veer just to see does buzzing help someone fix their veering. Before I started this project, I didn't know much about blindness. And after visiting the Vista Center and just telling them a little bit about our project, all of the blind people, they were just so welcoming, which I just thought was super humbling almost that like, they're like, wow, there's these teens that really want to help us. Personally, I've learned a lot about interacting with people like teammates, helping towards a common goal. Um, but also I've learned about the struggles that people in our community face every single day that we might not be aware of. Street has really allowed me to dive a lot deeper into that world that we don't necessarily see. Because I've always wanted to do something like big to help the world. I feel like it's hard to make a really big difference in just a few months, but what we've been able to do with our product is we've been able to, if Jimmy actually starts using it, we could save his life. Like he won't be veering into traffic anymore. 